Self-retracting devices, or SRDs, are also often used in fall protection systems because they allow you more flexibility of movement and reduce the free fall hazard because the lifeline is always under tension. In other words, there is no slack in the line regardless of where you tie off. This added flexibility of movement does increase the possibility of swing fall. You'll see this when Abel steps off the platform. The further you walk away from your anchor, the more you will swing back toward it and then away from it in a pendulum-like motion as you fall, until you finally come to rest directly below your anchor. Although Abel wasn't injured during his last swing fall, he would have been if any obstruction had been in his swing path. You'll see an example of this in our next demonstration. Don't worry, Abel. We'll stop the animation at the moment you contact the wall. You won't have time to feel a thing. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry about that, Abel. I guess we weren't fast enough. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. You also need to consider that as you fall, your body picks up speed. So the farther you drop and swing into the path of an object, the greater the force will be when you hit it. The difference in height from the time you fall to the point where you hit an object is considered your swing drop distance. Swing drop distance is calculated assuming a circular or pendular motion of the worker's D-ring on a fixed and taut length of lifeline. It does not include a drop in height due to freefall or deceleration distance. To protect workers from this hazard, some jurisdictions have legislation in place that requires workers to limit this swing drop distance to four feet. To minimize swing fall, you must work as directly below your anchor as possible and ensure that your swing drop distance does not exceed four feet. When using a self-retracting device, you must also be aware of how your clearance required can be affected by your movement away from your anchor. First, let's determine your clearance if you are directly below your anchor. You do this by checking your SRD's label for its maximum arrest distance or deceleration distance. This is the additional distance that the lifeline will deploy as it engages and arrests or stops your fall. The maximum arrest distance on this unit is 1 meter or 39 inches, which is 3.25 feet. Once you have this, you need to add one foot to account for your D-ring slippage as your harness stretches. And then add at least a two foot safety margin. Adding these together will give you the clearance you require from the platform or floor as long as you are working directly below your anchor. For every additional foot of life safety rope that is pulled out as you walk away from your anchor, you also need to add this to your clearance since you will swing back below your anchor when you fall. Let's take a look at two examples. First, we'll have Abel standing directly below his anchor. His SRD's label states that the arrest distance is 3.25 feet. The first action when he falls is the sliding of his D-ring as the equipment pulls taut. So we know he will fall at least one foot. The next action will be the deceleration of his SRD. So we need to add in the maximum arrest distance of 3.25 feet as listed on his unit. Lastly, we need to add at least a two foot safety margin and we get a total clearance required of 6.25 feet from the platform or floor. This time, let's see what happens when Abel walks away from his anchor, thereby stretching out an additional four feet of lifeline. To find the clearance now, we just need to add the extra four feet to the 6.25 feet he would need when he was working directly below his anchor. So the clearance required now is 10.25 feet. In summary, it's your responsibility to minimize the hazards of swinging by working as directly below your anchor as possible. Be aware of possible objects you might hit if you fall and swing. Set up your equipment to ensure you limit your swing drop distance to four feet or less. Determine your clearance required and factor in the additional length of lifeline that has been pulled out as you've walked away from your anchor. Keep this additional length to a minimum and always inspect and use your equipment as required by the manufacturer.